Do you want to learn to trade fast? You can start today. Zero to hero trader is the only way. If the market's going up, if it's going down, you can make money and we'll show you how. Our system can work for everyone. Join us for some trading fun. Zero to hero trader, learn to trade in no time. Watch our videos and be sure to subscribe. Hello guys, this is Trader Sarab from zero to hero trader.com and today is July 31st and we had a a lot of earning yesterday after close so the market is right now kind of pulling back because they had a very good earning the tech really you know went up high everything you know facebook amazon apple um so right now it's just trying to pull back a lot of profit taking is happening and uh, also, I have a couple of the, you know, I sold like a lot of the spy puts, I mean spy calls yesterday at the close, thinking that it's going to pull back when it was really squeezing higher. So right now I'm trying to see how it's going to go. Right now I'm waiting to get my exit on uh, almost like 10 different shares, a couple of different strikes. I sold 325. I sold 326, I sold 327. So those were my swing play, about seven contracts. And I just sold, uh, what's it called? Three contracts at 97, and I just got filled at 77 cents. So right now, you know, it has a huge kind of uh, run up that is trying to, you know, close that gap on that. Now you can see I have. The other three over here to pick up at 50. So I'm really going to start my scalping once I fill in those gaps and let the profit taking happen in my favor because you know I want the price to go down. And so far things are looking good, you know, because a lot of people are taking the profit on Apple, Amazon, and you can see the UVXY is like going up and everything is going down. So it's working in my favor. So I'm probably going to be back in 10 15 minutes, let these things play out and uh, you know take the profit on my calls and then I want to go into the scalping so uh, I'll probably be back in 20 minutes and I'll start the videos from there all right I'm back it's around 1029 and I closed out all my position and my swing position I had a decent profit you can see that right here I posted the screenshot of all that uh, Close to oh, oh, close to like $400 profit so far. And I just took another trade and it just got filled. Let me share that with you. So right now I have to be a little bit extra careful because it moved down a lot as I was expecting it to do. But now, like, you know, I don't want it to reverse. I don't want to be caught here selling the calls and this thing just rips up. So I'm just waiting for smaller moves at the moment. So right now I took this trade for $50 profit. So yeah, today PNL is going to be like a little different to show you guys because some of it is going to be coming from swings and some of it will be days trading today. To 23.32 million barrels per day. Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states and voluntary output cuts that, according to Reuters, uh, says states bound by OPEC plus cuts comply with 94% of pledge reductions in July versus revised 111% in June. Iraq and Nigeria make no further oil output curbs in July. All right. Uh, Florida total coronavirus cases of 470,000. A lot of news today. On Friday versus so as you can see you know I didn't want it to like reverse on me that's why I have to be very careful and be very picky and this time I gotta wait for my confirmation because the big move is already happened so a lot of it's just gonna be a chop now let me 
let's see. So this is a 34 EMA, so a lot of time it just bounced off that. And you can see the MACD is moving up. Let's see how it's looking on five minute. All right. Yeah, in the five minute you can tell this is like could really run up if it breaks out of this, which has a good chance of breaking out of it. Uh, press briefing now scheduled for 1045. I think today is just going to be premium kill. So what I'm doing with the option selling scalping is going to work out pretty good. But I just have to be very careful, you know. You see this big move. I don't want to be caught right here. And this thing goes back to the mean, you know. All right, let's check out our heat map. All right, SPY is negative still. UVXY moving up. Amazon pulled back decent, but still moving back up after that. You can see that. I think Amazon is getting ready to move up a lot. Who knows? Maybe like in the later in the afternoon when the premiums are like a little more reasonable, I'll do options scalping on Amazon. Go. My goal is to do naked uh, scalps on Tesla and Amazon. Like even one or two contract, you can easily make if you're able to do it. You can easily make a couple of thousand dollar, but it does require you know, a couple of hundred thousand dollar account. All right, Microsoft is down. Google is down a lot. And so Mark is still pretty red, even though it's trying to pull up. HTSH, China, HTS, we just State, don't know Arizona, how strong will that be. So we just got to wait. Hotel, HTSH. We got to wait. In the meantime, I'll look at different stuff. And shares halted on a circuit breaker. We'll go look at the option flow, see if something interesting <laughs> happening on any of the options. So to me, like, you know, this thing, I want to enter when it breaks this. And the MACD is downward. Yes, baby. <laughs> no, I don't know where that is, okay? Okay, go over there, baby. <laughs> All right, I'm seeing the market pull back down, so I want to take a stab at it. LEJU halted again on a circuit breaker. Lima Echo Julia Uniform, LEJU. Shares on the way down now, 526. All right, I enter eight contract of uh, 323 Ukraine, calls. 1,525 COVID cases on Friday, most since April 29th in Spain. These two candles looked pretty good. Now we just got to wait for the continuation. Also, the MACD is a little, you know, looked like it was going to cross down, but right now it's looking weird. MOD, MOD manufacturing, spiking to 570. But right here, the UVXY uh, is moving up, right so, Michael you know, I feel good for this move. TLSA to Deanna, 
uh, halted again on a circuit breaker, Tangalima Sandy Alpha on the way down now at 848. Shares are now up 71 percent from yesterday's close after the adjustment for the ADR and PLSA to Vienna. I see something very interesting, so I want to post it in my alert room. I think the market may rip up at the end of the day. See some option flow, so I'm going to take a little gamble and see how it turns out. Actually, it's a risky play, so I won't even post it in the chat room. It is a gamble, so all right. I think I'm about to get my exit. So we're just waiting for this thing to break, and when it's once it breaks, it's always gonna be. HTS Real Estate getting a dollar forty-four at the high now. Uh, Fifty-seven percent hotel golf standing hotel. Let's see the heat map. The heat map isn't really not that negative, so it is, you know, it is a little concerning. All right, so there's a move. Momentum is shifting to the negative side. Come on, a couple more cents. So that would be an $80 move once I get it. for this MACD crossover as well. There we go. So you can, I got my exit at 87 and now you see this thing goes down a lot more. But we don't worry about how much more it down it goes. As I, as I mentioned, this move is good for a lot more. But uh, I worry about the higher success ratio success uh, chances you know I don't want to be taking a trade that will just like go down and then move back up and then I'm wondering oh like oh shit you know I should have taken my exit you know I should have taken that $80 so you can see that went down another 70 cents but you know it could move back up and the market is it's not fully you can see the market, you know, see it's moving back up to 87 and everything. Like it's moving up. So that's what I don't want to see. Like, you know, like I don't want to be greedy. And way I have $80 profit, now I'm like I'm losing that profit. I'm seeing this thing, you know, move back up. Even though that thing, the move is good for more. But, you know, I want to wait for the next opportunity. So today I want to try to like between my swing and my scalping, I want to try to make over six, seven hundred dollar or even a thousand dollar. So let's see how well it goes. So today I'm going to be trading a little bit longer. But I'm not going to make the video so much so long. So right now I'm up to five hundred and twenty eight dollar in profit. So I got four hundred and uh, what, $472 more to go? Vienna, 
resuming trade again. Tango Lima, Sandy Alpha. So, I think I'll be back later, and uh, I'll do the video recap at that point. And I'll show you guys the trades I took. Alright guys, just this afternoon, I just came back, and uh, market, it's been pretty weird. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense, you know, to me. So I just pretty much stayed away. So I expected the market to go down a lot. It did. Then it was moving back up. Then it dropped again. Uh, I was not expecting that, so I stayed away from it, because I thought it was going to quickly recover. So I didn't want to be catching at the bottom. So now I let the market do what it wanted to do, and now it's back to what I was thinking, what it's going to do is come back up. So you, kind of like you can see, creating a nice pattern right here, almost like a W. Not the perfect, but hey, all of them works. And you can see, this is a, the white line is like the previous yesterday close. And right now, especially if it moves above this uh, green line, it can really run. So I have taken a trade, and I should be getting a fill very quickly. As you can see, it's, that's a very big engulfing candle. And let me show you. So I'm doing... Come on. So I should be getting a fill very quickly. So I sold it at 92 cents, 7 contract, and I'm waiting to see if I can get it filled at 75. So it's messing around, you know. I think it, the engulfing candle uh, came in, yeah. came all the way down to I think 83 cents, and then moved back up. And again, I'm having this bullshit internet connection problem where you're seeing everything is frozen because keep losing connection but as I say you know believe in your plan and don't worry about it well I do worry about it but not that much <laughs> and I also got uh, my phone as a backup so right now it's at 80 cents and I need to uh, come back to 35 cents I mean 75 cents now let me take this call Come on, spy. We're getting close. I don't really like the action so much. There we go. There we go. We got our exit. And now, look at this. Look at that beautiful move. But I still don't like the action. It's creating like a lot of wicks. So I enter at, what's it called? 119. I cover them at 109. And look at those things now. They are like 90 cents. So literally I missed out on, what, another $200 right there. I could have hold it if it's still going up. As I say, even though the the TTM squeeze could be working in my favor, I just didn't like all this wicks right here. And sometimes I'd rather be safe than sorry. This is just squeezing. This is just ridiculous. Uh, I wanted to get in a place order, I just cancel it. Uh, I just uh, part of me wants thinking this thing is just gonna rip through, but the part of, other part of me just saying like, all right, you know what? This was a big move. It's gonna come back, correct it up to right here. So I'm gonna listen to the safer side and uh, not take the move. And that was just beautiful though. That was uh, 78 cents, almost like 60 cents. That was crazy. MSC is on the buy side, so 1.3 billion on the buy side at the closing. So it's going to squeeze even higher. I want to take it, but I'm scared. I'm at $968, so another $32 will put me up 2000 
but I want to be careful. See, I definitely don't, even though I think it could have a little pullback, I definitely don't want to go short because this thing is too strong. SPX I sold would have been worth $1,500 right now. Yeah, I sold it at $10. Crazy. And to think this thing was down all the way to what, $321, and now it's back up to $325. Alright, so I'm going to be looking for my entry soon now. Good possibility it will touch and come back up if not then it will try to go for maybe right here that could be a support right here otherwise the EMA See, just one of those things. This thing is moving too quickly. All right, I'm going to enter for the upside. And it didn't let me go through. Wow. I hate it. I just moved my. It just moved up 30 seconds. I um, mean, 30 cents. This thing's going crazy, so I'm going to try to go for 20 cents on this time. You can see. Let me see to show you how much I actually had to chase on this move. And it just happened too quickly, you know, I wanted to get in sooner, but I couldn't. You can see I was trying to get it in at, uh, where is it? 80 cents, it didn't fill me at 80 cents. All right, well, it just filled me right here. So let me show you this rather than that. So I sold it at 70 cents and discovered at 50 cents. So that's 20 cents profit times seven. That's $140 profit right there. And I want to look for another opportunity. So I'm up at $1,108 so far. I want to try to, sh sh oh, what's it called? Try to go long right here, if I can get there. If it's ever get there. I could be entering too soon, but, you know, this is moving too quickly, so it's kind of hard to tell. The only thing I know is uh, the squeeze is on. <laughs> All right. This time, I think I want to go for something too crazy. Oh, I don't want to go too crazy. I was going to go for 40 cents, but considering this thing is still moving down. 
Well, let's see. I'll go for 40 cents scalp, and if I get it, I get it, otherwise I'll move my stop. <clears throat> the only reason why I'm going for this big of a scalp is because it's it's a short squeeze right now. It's trapping all those people. So I enter right here at 90 cents, and I'm looking to cover at 50 cents. So right here, I already got what, close to 20 cents. I'm halfway there. Come on. Give it that last push. Got a call. So I'm going to put my. So I'll be right back. I want to move my target to 60 cents. Alright. Come on. Get me my exit. I got to run. So hopefully this gives me an exit pretty soon. Yeah, I think I'm done for the day. Move my target to 20s. I'm squeezing right now. All right. So I got filled at 21 cents. So another what? Close to another 147 dollar. I think the move is good for more, but I had to do something else. I have to get ready. I got the FOMO right now that I think I'm missing out. You know what? Stupid of me, but I think I want to go in again. Yep, you see that thing? I would have got, I would have filled in. I would have got my 50 cents, I think. I would have got my exit, but right, right now I'm trying to get my entry. See right here? I would have got my exit. So now I'm going to try to go for 25 cents and I want to leave the order while I get ready. See, I think I should be getting my exit soon. It's hovering around those areas. We got about a couple of minutes left in the market. Three minutes left in the market. 
I should really get my exit by now, but uh, I guess I gotta wait a couple more seconds. Alright, it's at 27 right now. I, sh I should definitely get my exit right now. See, it's sitting right there. I don't know why it's not giving me my exit. Twenty-five cents. Other people are getting filled except me. <laughs> you know what? I'm just moving it up. We'll just be done with it. All right. So I got filled at twenty-six. So that's twenty-four cent scalp time seven. Another hundred and sixty-eight dollar. Now I'm gonna look to scalp 230. I mean 297. I need a little pull down now. I'm gonna set my order at 130. Wow, this this thing is just climbing. <laughs> I tell you, the short squeeze is on. I kind of feel silly, but at the same time, you know, I gotta play it safe. <laughs> because I could have just held on to those things and just made a crazy amount of money. And even my SPX, I would have made so much money on that. Yeah, my SPX, which I sold it for ten dollars, is worth twenty-three dollars. So I, would, I missed out on thirty hundred dollar on that. But at the same time, we don't know anything better. That could have easily gone against me. Look at this thing. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm canceling my order, getting the hell out of here. Even though I got 50 more minutes, I can trade, but I don't want to be involved with this. <clears throat> I'm up 1,423. This is a very good day for me. And let me post this in the chat room so you can see all the stuff I did, all these crazy scalps. Gotta wait for my internet to come back. <laughs> Let me see. So, very good day indeed. 1423. That's good. And another, <clears throat> another $290 on uh, SPX play that I showed. So you can see all this things, what I traded. Alright guys, I'm off for the weekend. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Uh, speak to you guys soon.